Catheter-based renal artery denervation is already in full swing in Europe. Promising results from the Simplicity 1 and 2 trials in Europe have indicated that we may soon have another possibly superior therapy for dealing with resistant systemic hypertension. Now in Jack, there is a report that takes the results of catheter-based renal denervation to another level. The authors not only report on significant reductions of systolic and diastolic blood pressure at one and six months, but also show that renal denervation reduced mean left ventricular septal thickness more than one and a half millimeters, as well as reducing left ventricular mass index 17% at six months. Not only that, but LV filling pressures and isovolemic relaxation time both decreased, whereas LV ejection fraction significantly increased. No significant changes were seen in control patients. The question is, how does this happen? Can catheter-based renal denervation directly cause the secondary changes in ventricular function that the authors report? In an accompanying editorial, the answer appears to be yes. The remarkably quick decrease in LV mass was faster and larger than any previous study in which afterload was reduced, and even in patients in this study in which blood pressure was not reduced, LV mass decreased. It seems that renal artery denervation produces a wider effect on sympathetic activity than drug therapy. Drug therapy targets only individual components of sympathetic activity whereas renal artery denervation alters both afferent and efferent renal nerve signaling, which reduces systemic sympathetic activation and by also decreasing efferent sympathetic signals from the brain to the kidneys may reduce vasoconstriction and also reduce renal angiotensin aldosterone activation. This may have important prognostic implications for patients with resistant hypertension at high cardiovascular risk. Keep your eye on the ongoing Simplicity 3 trial. I have a feeling we may be entering a sea change in how we think about treating hypertension. I'm Peter Block, and this is a Cardiosource Heart Minute.